All right, so found a free dump station. Gotta love Washington. There are a lot of these along uh, along the highways here, and there's even uh, free drinking water. So I'm gonna get to work here. We're gonna get back on the road. Got a free water. Awesome. Washington is so RV friendly. This is so nice. It's really clean dump station, free water. Kinda sad we gotta leave. Smelterville, Idaho. Spent the night at the Walmart. It's really nice. Uh, we parked close enough to the building there. Um, could actually get a Wi-Fi signal out here. And uh, nice little bike path over here. Found last night. Took Panda down, so we're gonna walk it this morning. Come on, bear. Panda, Panda, Panda. Good boy. It's a pretty small town. Um, I've spent two nights here. I've been here before, and uh, every time the local kids they hang out in the parking lot and hot rod crappy cars. And uh, I had two kids come up yesterday. They um, they wanted aspirin because they were all whooping on each other with uh, boxing gloves out in the parking lot. So not the worst uh, not the worst Walmart shenanigans. So. Oh, been a nice day. I like it here. Smelterville, Idaho. So we were walking, walking down this way yesterday. Um, kind of see there's I-90 right to the exit to the Walmart there. And, uh, like, oh, cool sculpture kind of thing. Now check this out. Come on, bear. It's a free dump station. We got water. There's a uh, under there. Yep. Panda. Yeah, there. So we took some nice long showers last night, even though we dumped yesterday. But yeah, look, this little mining cart. Cool Toyota over there too. Pretty sweet find. This isn't on free dump sites or anything. So a little secret I'm going to share with you guys if you're passing through. Uh, Smelterville, Idaho. This is right on I-90. This is a really good stop. And you're right before 4th of July Pass if you're uh, heading west. Or right after, like we did, and you can rest. Because that really sucked in the motorhome. Alright. You all really miss small western towns like this. Um, a lot of them in Idaho and Montana. It's really cool, just, you know, the slow pace. People are, like, hot rodding four-wheelers and just hanging out and um, you know, just not a lot going on. in March we stopped here at a uh, 50,000 silver dollar bar it's a big uh, gift shop and uh, bar casino they got some um, lodging as well um, 
But the beauty is, it's one night free. And... I showed you this the last time, but... Comes with a free electric. Look at that. Bunch of 30 amp plugs. Plugged in right now, got the AC going. Smoke's actually not nearly as bad. We have blue skies. You can see... Just a little hazy, but wow, look. It's the best I've seen uh, seen in a while. So, right now we're kind of cleaning up the rig. We're going to get caught up on some projects and get ready to meet up with some friends back in Missoula. So let me show you what I'm working on right now. So if you guys remember when I did the stereo install video, I got this little voltmeter thing. Um, kind of turned into a lot bigger of a project so it's been on hiatus until today I just wired it up it works so right now I um, forgot to film and I just remembered but I'm drilling some holes I'm gonna cut this out with the jigsaw get that flush mounted in there and clean up the wiring mess it's it's not it it just looks gross it's not as bad as it looks so I'm gonna try and clean this up too and get it all in the split loom So, here we go. go. Alright, so there we go. Got the hole cut out. Should probably take this plastic off. Again. Oh. So I'm going to clean this wiring up, run that all nice and together, and clean this up. That's the shunt. That was kind of confusing wiring here, so wiring to the shunt and yeah. Works first try though. Thanks to Lost Travels, they actually uh, hit me up after I showed that. Um, gave me some advice on hooking this up so uh, thanks a lot guys and might catch up with you if you're still out here in Montana. Everything's working good. We have a really accurate reading. You do have to poke at this button with the key or something to get it to light up. Kind of nice um, so it doesn't turn on by accident but much more accurate reading than our uh, charge controller has given us. Um, so that's our voltage. That is what we are using. Remember, I gotta look this one up. Good boy. <laughs> but it works, so I wanna wrap that up. This is saying 12.98. This is saying 12.9. So that's kind of nice. We have a little more accurate reading, more decimal number. A little more decimal. Um, I got this from Walmart. Um, splitter for 12 volts, and now I can plug in the TV to the stereo have the LED strip lighting running all at the same time now. So it's pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna get ready to leave, uh, explore Missoula, and I'll probably do that all in the next video. So thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.